All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at some logic and I have been spending some time building this lot. First of all, we're gonna go through some nicely clean spread out stuff and then I'll show you some compact stuff which I'll be releasing as templates for you to paste in. So this one is a NAND gate. So it's negative AND. The red light's just there. We've got an activation block, two activation blocks. They're both going into an AND gate. The AND gate's going into the NOT gate. The NOT gate is going into the light. So if I hit this button, nothing. Hit this button, nothing. If I get them both, I get flashy saying, ah, yes. So there we go. Mm, NAND gate. Next is the NOR. So we've got the NOR gate. We've got an OR gate here, We've got a NOT gate here, it's exactly the same as the last one. Two switches or inputs, so uh, are we suddenly hitting a server freeze? Yeah, server freeze, and we're back. Okay, so basically I'm going to hit this, and because uh, it's an OR, OR means if it's OR, it'll work. But both won't. So yeah. Nor, so negative or. <clears throat> this one being the or, the not making it negative. Next is XOR. Now this one's a bit trickier, but basically instead of just going or gate, okay, you actually go into both. So we go from this input here, goes into an activation and another activation. So actually both of them turn on the or. Okay, but then if you turn that on, so it's XOR, okay, which has its applications for different switches. See that, that behavior there? I don't know if you saw that. If you go on, off, it works. Okay, from an off state with an on state, that's fine. But if you leave it on, see we get no state change until you go off. And again there, so there's a behavior there which is interesting. So instead of it just straight up switching, it'll wait. So you can cycle it on or cycle it off, dependent on which input you're using in the, uh, in the XOR. So next up is the NXOR or NZOR, so negative XOR. So it's exactly the same as the last gate, only with a NOT gate after it. So again, you, you attach the first activation into both activation blocks. Second activation goes into both of the second row activation blocks. And then each of those is going into the OR gate, followed by a NOT, which makes it NXOR. Okay. So, yeah, just give you a demo on it. There's the opposite of the last one, which is uh, interesting behavior. I mean, to be honest, you could put a negative on the end of anything. I mean, if you look in circuit boards, that's often the case. Most terminals will have a, um, a negative output. Right, so here we go, NAND. So, this is the NAND gate. We have negative AND, okay, that's all it is negative AND, so two inputs into an AND, when they're both on, we get a state change, okay, negative AND, right, next one is the NXOR gate, so we've got negative XOR, so if we just go back and look at the XOR, hup, there it is, exactly the same, only this time, negative. You think, why have I got two NXORs in the same row? Look, see, that was me being crazy earlier. <laughs> two N I'd still, I still built two NXORs, even though I didn't, and then I did anyway. <laughs> okay, so yeah, two NXORs, guys. Moving on. <laughs> this is the nor without the or. Alright? So, this is my first example of how you can make anything do what you want it to, if you think hard enough. So basically, two activation gates, both leading into NOT gates, they lead into an AND gate. So 
basically what you got is a nor using an and. So, you know, this is just a good example of how, I mean, there are legitimate applications for this, okay? <laughs> but to be honest, it's an example of how you can make the wrong blocks do the right thing if you engineer it. But there, I think there is like a sort of unique behavior of this which you would want um, for certain things. Like I say, these are all common sort of textbook gates. You know, I haven't made these up. You can look them up. You can get the wirings for them. And you'll notice that I've set them out exactly as they are in the diagram so you can use the reference. So both on. There we go. So that's that one, we'll move on. Now these are the compact ones. So compact nor, you've got two activations, both hooked into this and, the and into the knot, the knot is attached to the light and the display. Basically the red block, uh, the display and the red light are cosmetic. So if you wanna make this super compact, you actually only need the bottom four blocks. So it's a nor, compact nor in four blocks. So next up is the compact NXOR. So basically you've got, uh, this isn't unfortunately fitting in the, just the bottom row. The, you do need these two on the side. So what I've done is I've got the two activations into the OR. The OR goes into, um, sorry, no it's not, my bad. NXOR, so the two activation blocks there. One of each side is hooked into both of these. So if we just go back to the NXOR quickly and I can show you the expanded version. Yeah. So as you can see here, if you just make these all touch, so just imagine that and shrink it into a two by two and you've got it. Then what I've done is I've slapped these two on top on the side. So if we go straight back over there, you can see that. So the bottom four activations are touching, hooked up in the same way as I explained before. Uh, and then they go into the OR gate and then the OR into the knot. Knot goes into the light. Obviously you would hook everything up off of the knot. So if this is a NXOR, it ends with the knot. So that's where you go C and to your activation block for whatever it is you were using this with. Obviously uh, you probably do it in parallel, but hey. So there's your compact NXOR. Like I say, you do need these two, but the display and the red block are cosmetic. So basically it's a six block NXOR. Uh, next is the NAND gate. This is a compact NAND. Uh, it's a two, uh, like I say, it's only the bottom row is in use. So these two go into the AND, and then the AND into the knot, the knot into the light. And just to show you, yeah. So there you go, it's all working fine. If I go over here, we have the XOR. And the XOR is uh, quite interesting. <laughs> so what we've got is we've got, uh, we've got, <laughs> we've got an activation block going into a knot another activation into a knot, and then the original activation into the first and, and then the second activate, uh, <laughs> other activation into the other and. You can see the wiring there. You're going C from this end, V forwards, or to the left there. And then the and goes into the or, both ands into the or, and then you get this. And like I say, this is textbook. You can actually look these up and look at the diagrams and they're exactly the same. So it's no problem if you see some cool wiring, you can just adapt it from the symbols. Now the next one was a bit of fun. This is an example of o the over-engineering. So basically, it's an over-engineered NX uh, NXOR. The reason for that is because, oh look, I haven't saved any of the data right well they're all compact nands basically so let me just take my compact nand text and just copy that in real quick okay so like i was saying the nx or over engineered doesn't use any ors well i think it actually hang on let me just double check that yeah there's no ors in my nx or okay it's fully made of nands so what i've done is i've taken these nand gates and then made a full NXOR. So if I just go and check out my NXOR gate, that's right here. So yeah, the NXOR gate can be done in six blocks. All right. 
the clue's in the name, it says or, so use an or block. But if you don't, if you really feel like you don't like using or blocks, you know, that's fine. Because you can just, you know, use like 20 times as many blocks. But anyway, we'll show you how it's done. So, NXOR using just NAND. So, <laughs> NXOR without the OR. Uh, so, the first activation is going into the left terminal on the NAND on the left. It's like pizza without chicken, bacon, ranch, Tom. I know. How it's, could you do it? I don't know, but, you know, maybe <laughs> you want to do it for some reason. I don't know. So, the second activation goes into the right NAND terminal. Okay. And then both of these activations, as you can see, are taking their corresponding left and right terminals on the center NAND. Now, the not terminal on the center NAND leads to the left terminal on the right NAND. And the same not is linking into the right terminal on the left hand NAND. Now you take both negatives from the left and right and you put them into the corresponding inputs on the second central NAND. Then you take the output from that NOT terminal and put it into both of the final NAND's terminals. And then you take the final NOT and put it into the light. And there you have it. You've just used 4, 8, 16, 21, 22, 23 blocks where you could have used 6. But I'm sure you have a legitimate reason for it, so I'm not ridiculing you. I'm just dead, I'm just showing that, you know. Yeah, this is the over engineered NX or. Moving on. The or and not and and. I was just having a bit of fun with this one. Um basically it's an it's an or, an and, and a not. With two inputs. And basically it's just awkward. Um it prefers to be used in a particular way. So if it's off, it prefers to be used from the left terminal. And if it's on, it prefers to be used from the right terminal. I'll show you. Basically, um, if I come in here, <laughs> um, there we go. Right, basically, if I hit the, if I come in here and hit the right terminal, it doesn't do anything. You could spam it, nothing's gonna ha ever happen. If I leave it on and hit the other one, bingo. Oh wait, no, nothing happens. I'm gonna spam it now, nothing happens. And you're probably thinking at this point, ah, oh, Tom's broken it. But no, if I go and turn the first one off, bing. <laughs> so it's just awkward. <laughs> It just doesn't like it if you use the right switch. So if I just if I if I come in when it's off and I use the left switch, bing, straight on every time. No problem. But if I now try to use the other switch, oh look, it's working every time. What the hell? <laughs> so then I'll leave this on and turn this one off. Nothing. What the hell? <laughs> It's because when it's on, it prefers to be used on the right. And when it's off, it prefers to be used on the left. It's like a politician, basically, you know. <laughs> he just goes whichever way, you know, the wind happens to be blowing that day. So, flip a coin. <laughs> basically, if you've got the left terminal, left when it's off, right when it's on. Yeah? But yeah, so the way that's hooked up, okay, is um, you put your OR gate on the left, you put the NOT gate on the right, you put AND gate in the center at the back. You've got two terminals at the front. The right terminal goes into the NOT, the NOT goes into the AND, the AND goes into the light at the back. The terminal on the left, your activation point here, goes into the OR, and then the OR goes into the AND. Finally, hook up the right activation into your OR gate. Now, obviously, you could have this any which way. You can have it this way. You can have it standing up. That, that, that's irrelevant. And also, you can compact this down. So it's only actually, if you put the, or, if you put the uh, and on top, you're looking at five blocks, you know, uh, two by two with, by one. Or maybe you could make it longer and just do you know, one by three or two. Um, but yeah, so that's, 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 that's everything so far. So 
like I say, I'm going to be releasing the compact gates as templates on the forums, so look out for those. Um, and a link will be in the description. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Woo! <laughs>